So hello everybody. I'm just coming to you tonight to show you some of my knives and uh that uh, I've collected over the years. These are my what I call my working knives. I was a meat cutter in my younger days before I retired. In 1973 when I got out of the army, I wasn't very many jobs available, but I found me one as an apprentice meat cutter. And I worked at it, and uh, I eventually moved up to a journeyman meat cutter, and then owned a, a market manager. I ran markets till I till I retired, and uh, I bought my own knives. I considered them my tools, and I just wanted to uh, have good ones because when you use something all day long, you want it to. Uh, you want it to be something that you enjoy using, and it gets the job done. These two are what you call breaking knives. They're used to separate the break the beef down into into parts where it can be cut up easily. And this is a uh, this is a steak knife. These four here are boning knives. They're the they're the workhorses of the of the knife world. They uh, in the meat department they get they get the most work. They you've got one of those in your hand pretty much uh pretty much uh, all the time when you're cutting meat. And uh, that's why these here last longer probably because these get more use. And uh, these are. Uh, these knives here are Forstner Victorinox. They're made in Switzerland. And they're very good steel. This one's a 12-inch blade. This one's a 10-inch blade. And this one's a 9-inch blade, I believe. Maybe it's 8. Yeah, yeah, it's 8. This one's an 8-inch blade. These are 6-inch blades. This is an Atlanta sharp, sharp Tech, and it's made in Portugal. It's a very good knife. It's not the highest. It's not the most expensive. This here's the Cadillac. This, uh, this is the most expensive knife. It's a German-made knife. These two are Chicago Cutlery. They're very good knives. I just... I love this knife. I love I love the wood handle ones. It's just like a comfortable old shoe. I could use that all day long, and have many a day. This is the stainless steel and uh, polymer version of it with a polymer handle, but it's a Chicago cutlery also. This here's a a cleaver that a friend of mine made for me. His dad was a knife maker who immigrated here from Germany after World War II and he passed his knowledge and his skill on down to his son. He was a very good metal worker. He made me this this uh, cleaver and he made me a knife that was a that matched it. It was a combo deal. I had the knife and the cleaver. But my oldest son, he wanted the knife so I gave it to him. This is a steel, a sharpening steel. And as you can see, it's also made in Germany. It's a high quality steel. This here's a oil stone. It's for sharpening knives. This is old school. This is what we had back in the day. This is all we had. It's got three stones on it. It's got a, a coarse. It's got a medium coarse or a medium. And then it's got a real fine polishing stone on it. And uh, you put oil in the bottom of it. It's got field lines on it. You fill it up with oil and then it, it, it puts oil on your stones and and you sharpen your knives with it. That's that's what we used to have, and that's all we had. So 
later on down the line, they got lazier. They came out with these little items, the, the electric sharpeners. They've got two rotating sharpening stones. One turns clockwise, the other turns counterclockwise. And you just turn it on, drag your knife through. It puts the real fine edge on it. Very simple and easy to use. Anybody can sharpen a knife with one of these. Not so with these. This requires skill level here. But anyway, I just wanted to do a review on my working knives, I call them. My old uh, knives that I used when I was in the meat cutting business. And I intend on doing a, some more knife reviews of knives that I've been given and bought over the years for my own personal use like hunting knives and stuff like that but anyway i thank you for watching and i if you would please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video